Hello there my friend, it's Belinda here from Visualize NZ. Uh, now let, up first let me acknowledge that this could be quite a noisy video. It's extremely windy here today and I've held off recording this because the wind is horrendous. I don't think it's going to get any better so I've got to the point where I've just got to go ahead and let you know that I hope the noise doesn't bother you. It's rattling the chimney to my right. It's rattling the clear light on the covered deck to my left. It's just incredibly noisy. Um, so my apologies. I hope it doesn't bother you too much. So today's project. I am going to be working on a tag. So I have a tag here. Uh, cut from a base that I made in the Deal It Up challenge for this week. Which was masterboard. So this is all I've got left of the masterboard now. Masterboard. Uh, monochrome paint and handwritten letter or note okay uh, I'm not sure whether it said handwritten actually it might just been a bit of a letter or note so the letter or note was on the master board but this particular piece I've cut out here does not have it on it but apart from that everything else is there it's got paint on it uh, it's monochrome and it was it was a master board but no longer now it's a tag so I'm going to be making a tag for the virtual tag swap, which is a swap that runs in my Facebook group, Visual Vibes. You'll find all the links down in the description box. Um, so this is my tag for this month, for September. It's a virtual swap, so you don't post anything out. You just swapped a prompt with an allocated partner. And then there's a prompt that everybody gets to work with, which I assign. For September, it was Silhouette. And my partner allocated me the prompt of lace. So they are the two prompts I'm working with. Now I do want to also say that if you're interested in participating in the virtual tag swap, uh, then sign-ups for October are going to happen next week. So I'll probably post that on Monday, um, if I remember, if not Tuesday. Um, so head along to the group and pop your name down when that post goes up, if you would like to participate for October. Lots of fun, very easy, no cost in terms of postage, so that's a plus in my book, uh, makes it accessible for everybody. So I have been doing a bit of playing, I kind of had a rough idea of what I wanted to do, and I'm glad that I had a little pre-play, because I worked out that what I wanted to do wasn't quite working. So I did cut out a whole bunch of die cuts, like I sat this morning and I just worked my way through uh, one A4 sheet plus a little bit, like that much, of this um, pearlized charcoal cardstock. And then just because I thought maybe I might want some colour, I also did some in a bit of pink textured cardstock. And as it turns out, I'm really glad I did the colour. So let's start putting this together. First off, um, so this is a collage of different black and white pieces of paper. It's got some paint dry brushed over it. And then I've just backed it with um, scrapbook paper. Now before I get going, I actually want to ink this up. I was about to go vintage photo, but I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to go for Vibrant Fuchsia in my archival ink because I am going to be using these pink sunflowers. I know sunflowers aren't pink, but hey. It's the uh, artistic license at play. So I'm just going to give this... It's a different pink to the cardstock, but that's okay. I'm going to give it... Something a bit different. Go for pink. So often I use vintage photo. It's definitely my go-to. But let's play with something different today. And I definitely want to do this first because once I've put my first layer down, it's not going to be so easy. And then I'm going to do the back as well. I actually really like that pink with the brown. It's ra rather lovely. So 
So to sign up for the um, for the swap, you just head over to the Facebook group. Uh, there's a post made that calls for sign-ups, and then you just pop your name in the comments along with how many partners you would like for that month. Most people go with one, um, some go with two. It's entirely up to you according to what you think you can manage. And then I pair you up um, and announce the partners and the overarching prompt, so the prompt everybody works with, usually around the first of the month, uh, so like the first of October. Um, and then you contact your partner to swap a prompt with them. The prompt I give you is entirely optional, but everybody uses it. They they like to use it, so but it is entirely up to you. So I want to glue this lace on, and I'm just kind of wondering what the best way to do that is, because it's very, very holy, shall we say. Lots of holes. So double-sided tape won't work, because that'll be sticky through and it would show. Um, it's a bit of lace neat curtain, and that's what it is. I'm not sure whether it's got a right side or not. don't think it really matters. Um, the holes do tend to catch on things, which is a bit annoying. It's slightly sort of off-whitish, creamish colour. Um, what do I want to use to glue it down do I want to even sew it that's a possibility mm. okay I might have to put you on pause and go sew it because I'm thinking that might be the best option do I want to glue it first maybe I'll glue it first in a couple of places just so that it doesn't move on me too much so I'm just going to go in where some of these flower motifs are. Hit those with some glue where there's a bit more to actually glue down. Yep. Getting the tip of the glue bottle stuck in the holes. following the pattern. Oops, that's off, so no need to put glue there. You'll just mess up my mat if I put glue there. Okay, I think that's probably adequate to hold it in place while I sew it. So, in the blink of an eye, I'll be right back with it sewed. And I'm back. So there it's all sewn around. I think I need to check my tension because it tends to leave a weird sort of bit on the back, but that's okay, it's just added texture. Um, I backstitched, but I do like to, if I can find the right ends, um, I do like to tie a knot as well. And if I do zigzag, I don't backstitch, I tie a knot instead, but if I do straight stitch like I've done around here, I do like to also tie a knot. Just added security, um, I don't know, just making sure everything stays where it's supposed to. I'm just going to tie off those top ends. And I'm not going to completely cut the ends, I'm just going to leave a little bit there. Just, you know, added little detail. And again on the back, I'm just going to trim the ends to about the same length so they're easier to tie. Because if one's super long, it's actually harder, I find, to tie in a knot. Oops, come on, comply. So it was supposed to be a quick wee job, but you know, you think it's got a quick wee job, and then you go to the machine and realise that the machine's on the floor. 
because you moved it out of the way to do your die cutting so first you have to move all the die cutting stuff and then you set the machine up and then realize that the last time you used the machine you used dark brown thread and you don't want dark brown thread for your current project so then I had to switch that out and then I got to sewing so yeah I mean that makes it sound like it was an hour-long project it wasn't but it was just like a few minutes longer than what I thought it would be right so done that now I want to trim around I don't want to cut off those cotton ends so I'm just holding them out the way while I trim around the edge here obviously a lot of concentration going on here and I go quiet so some of these little off cuts will be usable for something else so I'll just pop them in a pile to the side and then I'll sort through them later as to what is salvageable and what isn't so I'm just laying my scissors slightly on an angle or quite a bit on an angle actually um, getting those trying to get those threads out the way there we go there we go done those bits can go though I'm not going to put those in the pile they can go straight in the rubbish oh and that's because I didn't lay my scissors down when I was cutting this side so it actually overhangs so cutting your scissors cutting your scissors cutting with your scissors on an angle like this will actually give you a cleaner cut um, along the edge of something like this all right lots of little fragments of lace right so there's our base for our tag it's got some lovely lace going on it's got some cool little threads hanging out the bottom now for our silhouette so this is where my die cuts come into play and I, as I said I did do some play beforehand to work out what I was going to do and originally I had thought I would put the silhouette under the lace and I tried a few different laces and it, it just they weren't really showing up that well like it was a bit pointless so then I came up with a different idea tried it out and I was a lot happier so I've got two different sizes so I've got the large one two of those and then the smaller one I thought I'd just do like a little sort of arrangement of those Die cuts are brilliant when you want a silhouette effect. Die cuts are definitely a great way to go. Just want to make sure they all sort of connect up in a, a vine-like way, if you like. I also did some borders, some lacy type borders. So I've got this one or this one. I'm wondering about putting a little piece down the bottom here I think I will and I think I actually like this one but let's have a look at this one I mean that's really pretty as well but it just doesn't fit quite so well I'd have to trim off some of the design which would be fine but I think this one the the pattern works more effectively where I can basically have the whole design if you know what I mean I'm not cutting a loop in half like that yeah okay I think I'll go with that originally I was going to go with this one but I hadn't tried this one so there we go I'm just going to have a quick little sip of my tea Uh, more like a guzzle, actually, <laughs> if I'm honest. Right, okay, 
so I think I'm going to commit to this because I really like that. Even if I didn't do anything else to this, I really like this. So I'm going to start with our underneath one first. And I'm just going to go with my tacky glue. It should be fine, hopefully, to stick to both the lace and the surface underneath. That's what I'm hoping. We'll need a bit of pressure on it just to help it adhere while it dries. As part of the swap, once you've done your tag, then you just go to Visual Vibes and post a photo of it and tag your partner. If the tag doesn't work, that's fine. Your partner will generally see it anyway. Um, and I can always tag them if they haven't. And you have about three weeks to complete your tag. So I reserve one week for sign-ups to happen and three weeks generally for the making, signing of the prompts, the swapping of prompts and the making of your tag. So I've left mine right till basically the last minute. Um, and that's okay, last minute is perfectly fine. I've been super busy, but I never lost sight of it. I knew I would need to get onto it and... I'm not late, so that's always good. And it's not a biggie if somebody's late, you know, because life happens. I'm not worried about it as long as you don't bail and leave your partner high and dry, because that's kind of a bit mean. You know, if somebody's done their part and then you've never done yours, that's, that's not so great. And it does happen, believe me. We've had that happen in our tiny wee group. Fortunately, they were my partner, so it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a huge deal because I, I could cope with that. But if they let one of my members down, that would have been a little more upsetting for me, I think, and for their partner as well. So I do encourage, if you do sign up to, unless, like, you know, something major in life happens, to follow through because it's just one tag during the month. It's not a, not that onerous, is it? I don't think it is. And you don't even have to post it in snail mail. Oops. Hopefully this sticks. Might have to go in and add a bit more glue if it doesn't want to stick down properly. I am just going to turn it upside down and give it a good rub. And hopefully that will help it stick properly a lot easier to do it this way than try and do it on the surface where you've got things that will catch on your fingers right that's looking pretty good okay should have glued this on before i did that actually but never mind now do i want that lacy upwards or do i want the lacy downwards oh Decisions. I don't know which I like better. Eek. I like both. Oh dear. Deary me. I kind of like this. It looks like the top of a fence to me. Whereas like this... It's more like a table or a um, something like that. So I think I'll put it this way up. Also, I'm only going to glue the flat bit. So if I need to slide something under the top there, I will be able to do that. So there we go. There's my decision made and the reasonings for it. straight whoops straight I think right again I'm gonna turn it over give it a good press and next we're gonna add some color so we haven't got a lot of color going on we've just got the inking around the edge as our color right 
there we go I think that is really super effective as is but we're not done yet so I'm gonna grab out my little fussy cutting scissors and you may wonder why when I've got die cuts well with these sunflowers I love these sunflowers but when I'm using multiple ones and layering them up I don't like the leaves on the leaves kind of um, to me it gets too busy I do save the leaves though and I use those in other ways so I just trim along the side of the stem oops sometimes it's easier to go up the other way from from the back and it's not perfectly trimmed it's just close enough so I want two of the larger ones I think just snip snip So I was going to go black with the, um, the flowers as well, so I've got them cut out and already trimmed up. And actually it's charcoal, not black. Uh, close enough though. Um, but just found that everything was just a bit too... Yeah, just nothing showed up very well. It just all became a mess. Visually became a mess. So it's good to try things out before you commit with the glue, isn't it? So there's only two leaves on the smaller sunflower. Okay. Snip the stem off. I think I want two of the bigger ones, but we'll we'll see. So this is where I can slide it in under this lacy bit. Now, do I want the smaller one, or do I want the bigger one? Let's try the bigger one first we can always switch it out before we glue I think we need a shorter stem there oops <laughs> it went down my sleeve I'm sure it will probably drop out on the floor otherwise I'll be fishing it out later no it still needs to be shorter let's cut it this way so it will not go down my sleeve this time that was funny Yes, that's better. I'm going to do that on the other side. Just fine tuning placement, making sure I'm happy with it. So you could use green leaves, but because I'm working with a prompt for um, for silhouette, then the leaves to me are in silhouette. And they provide a really nice contrast for the pink. Okay, yep, I'm, I think I'm happy with that. So gluing down such intricate die cuts is always an interesting thing. So fine tip glue bottle makes it a lot easier but it's still you know a bit a bit delicate a bit fine making the most of those bigger areas where you can put the glue like the stem it's a bit wider I actually damaged the back of this one it didn't cut properly and while I was trying to get all the little bits out some of the backing tore off but that's fine, it's the back and nobody's going to see it. Right, I think that should be okay. 
So I'll get these on and then again I'll turn it over and give it a good rub. Uh, it will stick a bit better because it's sticking onto cardstock as opposed to onto the lace. If it doesn't stick to the lace, it's fine. There's enough surface coverage there. It's not going to come off. It's not going to flap about. Okay, that should be good for that one. And I'm just sliding the stem in under those leaves um, where it's not like completely stuck down because of the texture of the lace. It's just giving me the opportunity to just tuck that little bit in. This one's got a nice big centre to put glue on. Gosh, that wind. This is the worst day for the noise of the wind. But we've just had wind constantly for probably a couple of weeks. Tomorrow it's supposed to change and get cold. Oh, that end has not stuck down, so I need to fix that. Let's just put a bit more glue here. If I have trouble with it lifting, then I'll go in with my um, alcohol glue, and that'll get it. It just doesn't have the fine tip, so it can be a little tricky to get it in under there. I saw someone recently using a cool trick. I must try it, where you put your glue on a little bit of card, and then just slide the card in underneath. I thought that was brilliant. have not done that, so I might try that if I have issues with these die cuts right just giving it a nice press there I can put these scissors away while I'm doing that and I'm thinking about a lace topper just to really round out the lace aspect um, and pretty this up even more look at this huge pile of die cuts that I've got I've got all sorts of leaves and flowers and cool things so they'll all go away in my container to be used wherever and whenever. Okay. I think that is very, very pretty. Um, thinking maybe a word or two. Do we want to go there? Or a label? And I've got glue on my fingers. Highly distracting. Um, just thinking where my words are. How about a wee label since these are right at hand? We want three. Do we have room for three? These are from the Junk Journal Studio. That's a vertical one. How about a vertical one and a horizontal one? Then it's like there's, doesn't matter that there's not three because they're different orientations, so it's one and one. I don't know. <laughs> Um, okay, let's see if we've got enough ink left on our little sponge here. No, not really. That ink has basically dried, so let's grab a bit more. There we go, that's the way. One. Right, 
hoping these will stick okay am I sure I want them that way round yes I do or rather I am I am sure Yeah. This one down here. Right, and some lace for the top. See on the side down the bottom is this is it a bit fine? It's kind of a bit yeah. It's a bit small, isn't it? It kind of gets lost. I've got a heart. Oh that's kind of nice. I wonder. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> it was worth a go. You just don't know until you try. Uh, what about somewhere I've got this lace with just the pink edge, not with the multicolor edge. But it's away somewhere else. So we're just going to go and try this. It's got a bit of blue on it, but it's also got pink. I don't mind that. Um, is there anything better? Oh, what about this? This might be a bit narrow as well. This is... Oh, and it's got something... Something crusty, like nail polish or something. Just look and see if there's a patch that doesn't. Um... Oh, that's quite nice. I think there's a section there that would work okay. But no, I think I prefer this. Okay, let's just take a snippet of this then. So how many do we want? Two, four. Do we want four sections? Well, that's interesting. They alternate. Okay, four on one side and um, three and two halves on the other. I never realised that. Okay. Now, do I want to sew? I think I'm going to staple just to add that little different texture. Just digging for my stapler watching out for pins that's built in the container that the stapler lives in which I haven't picked up yet hopefully that's um, yeah that's okay and it went all the way through cool so there we go there is my tag for the virtual tag swap for September so the prompts again were lace and silhouette and that's what I've come up with. I think that's rather pretty. Yay. Okay, guys, that's the video for today. Uh, please head along to Visual Vibes if you're at all interested in checking out the virtual tag swap. Uh, you'll find all the details over there. There's also a file, uh, a document in the files if you want to know any, uh, you know, the FAQs type of thing. There's a little help document there if you want to know a bit more about it before you uh, commit to it. But I'd love to have you join in. Super fun, super quick little uh, thing to do once a month. Okay guys, take care, have a great weekend and I'll see you back for the Deal It Up Challenge next week. Bye for now.